scaremongering by European politicians, including French President Emmanuel Macron, has led to a low uptake in the countries as they lag behind the UK. Many are skipping their appointments after finding out they would receive the Oxford vaccine, as they instead want the Pfizer jab, causing further issues in their shambolic vaccination. It comes as new findings today show just one shot of the British-made COVID jab slashes older people's risk of being taken to hospital with the disease by 94%, suggesting it is slightly more effective than the Pfizer vaccine after a single day. It is the first time the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine has been proven to protect over 65s against the disease. Meanwhile, a separate study from Public Health England has found just a single dose of the Pfizer vaccine cuts the chance of hospital admission and death from COVID by more than 75% among the over 80s. More than 17.5 million people in the UK have received their first dose of the jab, but it is a different picture in France and Germany where just 6% of their populations have been vaccinated. In comparison, the UK has handed out doses to more than 26% of citizens in Germany. Just 150,000 out of the 1.5 million doses of the vaccine had been used by Friday. German regulators decided not to use the vaccine for the over 65s because there is insufficient data to prove it works in that age. Despite the European Medicines Agency having approved it to be given to all adults, Boris Johnson came out fighting against the German attack on the British base pump. Speaking on a trip to Scotland, he said, This is a vaccine that our own MHRA regulators, has said produces an immune response in all age groups and is a good vaccine, so I'm very confident in it. French President Emmanuel Macron then waited in on the road, claiming the Oxford vaccine doesn't work on those over the age of 65. Speaking at the end of January, Mr. Macron said, the real problem with AstraZeneca is just that it doesn't work as expected, because there will be very little information today. Everything suggests that it is almost ineffective for those over 65, and some say over 6. In Berlin's Tegel vaccination centers, which only gives the AstraZeneca jab, fewer than 200 people are turning up for the 3,800 daily appointments, according to But leaders are now urging people to take the Oxford jab as the countries continue to lag behind the U. Currently in Germany, the Oxford jab is only being given to healthcare workers and people under the age of 65 with underlying health. To stop the country's vaccination program falling even further behind, there are growing calls for the jab to be given to anyone who wants it outside priority. MP and epidemiologist Karl Lauterbach has branded the situation as absurd. He said, the vaccination booths are ready, the vaccine is there and so are the vaccination team. But the vaccine remains unused because not enough people show up for the appointment. This is an absurd and unbearable situation. Meanwhile, Berlin Mayor Michael Mueller has threatened to send people to the back of the queue if they refuse the Oxford jab in favor of the more popular Pfizer vaccine. He told Tongish people, I won't allow tens of thousands of doses to lie around on our shelves while millions of people across the country are waiting to be in with those who don't want the vaccine have missed their chance. Belgium is also facing a problem with its vaccine rollout as nurses threaten to strike if given the Oxford. The country is not giving the Oxford vaccine to anyone aged above 55 despite authorization, with healthcare workers the first priority group. A nurse in a Flemish hospital told the Het Laatste in the UW's newspaper, If it turns out that we will be vaccinated with the AstraZeneca vaccine, we will go on. Chancellor Angela Merkel and Emmanuel Macron have come under fire before over EU's disastrous COVID vaccine. Both leaders found their heads on the block even by the end of January over the painfully slow progress.